Yo, what is up, guys? It is Pure Gamer here again with another Dragon Ball Super episode review. Today's episode is going to be episode 65, and um, I'm trying to re I'm trying to honestly remember um, all the information that I, I could and could not gather from uh, th this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super. But um, really quick before we get on to the ap uh, uh, actual episode review. I want you guys to go ahead and drop a like on the video just for the amazing support that we have so far on the channel. We have rec we recently just hit 70 subscribers and I want to thank you guys just so much for just the, the support and thank you guys for subscribing because you guys are honestly the, the ones that give me the most amount of just enjoyment with uh, with do, uh, doing these videos because I got, I got a comment the, uh, the other day or so, other week or so, uh, so, probably like a month or so ago now honestly. Um, and this guy was saying, I think I already said this in the, in, the, in the previous video before, but a guy said that when I was, when I, uh, did this, uh, did a certain episode, it was like almost a month ago, like I said, he said I did a really well, a really good job on the video, and I was, I was, um, I was flattered, you know, I, I was, I was really happy about myself because I don't, I don't consider myself to be a good YouTuber, and I don't claim to be, but it's whatever, that's, that's a video for a whole other day, but anyways, on to the actual review. To, to what happened in the episode. Um, uh, just just before, uh, this shouldn't even be a no-brainer, but um, spoilers uh, coming up ahead for those of you who haven't watched the, uh, the episode yet. Uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave a link uh, down in the description for you guys to go and watch it, as always in every single video. But anyways, we begin off with the episode with the newly fucking fused of Goku Black and Zamasu. Uh, as a monster from the future timeline who was immortal through the Super Dragon Balls. And of course because the strength of Goku Black is there and the Im uh, immortality of Zamasu, they're, basi they're basically essentially what is the perfect and strongest being in the universe. They're literally a god who is immortal, cannot die, and continuously becomes stronger and stronger as time uh, goes by. Which, if you think about it like that, that is fucking stupidly fucking crazy and OP as shit. They are literally, literally the perfect being. If you thought Cell was the perfect being, that motherfucker is the perfect being, like realistically. And so, of course, uh, Goku and Vegeta are trying to fight him off. They realize that they're, they, they're, they're so much weaker than him. They're so much weaker than him. But because, but because of course they're they're Saiyans, or if you want to get technical with it, Saiyans. Because they're Saiyans, uh, they always have to uh, the will. They always have to drive the fight. They always like to fight people who are stronger than them. And of course, they go ahead and start fighting and stuff like that. Um, Trunks takes Bulma and Mai somewhere off of the fucking like battlegrounds, so that way they can actually like work on making the time machine work back together again. And then just the immense power of what of what Black Zamasu is. Goku and Vegeta literally cannot cannot touch him. They they are Super Saiyan blues, and they cannot touch what is the perfect being, the perfect warrior. They cannot. He just he just has so much power. They literally cannot fucking touch him. He's got like this whole fucking like purple fucker. I don't even know what you can call it. They, it had, he had like this this whole, this whole purple aura like like being created and it was just like there and you know it was it, it did it did so much damage against them it was absolutely insane and of course they broke through it thinking that they're gonna go ahead and land at least a punch on Zamasu that's what I'm gonna refer to him uh, refer to him as now uh, they thought they were gonna get a clean little punch on him but no he just grabs both of their fucking fists they stand there and they basically break their fucking fist. You can hear the fucking crackling noises like that. Have you heard that? I actually just cracked my my, my knuckles. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, because they can't fucking do anything, they end up getting fucking beat. And then one of the coolest fucking uh, scenes that had actually happened, uh, in my opinion, is uh, the key uh, the key blast uh, struggle of uh, Trunks, future Trunks, uh... By the way, he's amazing in Zeroverse too, just so you know. <laughs> he's my main, anyways. Yeah, the key clash of Zamasu and Future Trunks, that happens. Uh, of course, because there's only Future Trunks and he's just there and he's not powerful enough to fucking do anything against them. Uh, he can't, like, t uh, he can't compare against the power of a god. And 
and only what the power he has. You know, he doesn't have God Key. As far as we know, as far as we know, we don't know if he has God Key or not. Um, like I said, we're not we're not sure, and hopefully later on we'll get a little bit more info on what that transformation was, like two or three episodes back. But whatever, right? For whatever for right now. Anyways, he's still struggling, and that in that uh, key blast struggle, uh, it looked it looked amazing. Uh, the, the cinematography and the animation of that scene was absolutely amazing. And then Vegeta's like, "Yo, I'll help out," and then they both do a fucking Gallic gun. That was awesome, right? And then they think they think they they fucking did it because they somehow managed to push back Zamasu's key blast, which uh, which really surprised me. And I was like, you know what, fucking just. That was when I let go of my fucking fists. Like my fists were all like crunched up and shit because I was in, I was into the fucking the episode, dude. Because I I actually really want to make a whole separate video on why I think Goku Black is uh, the best villain and my favorite villain because um, I feel like that I feel like that's a very special um, video that needs to be separate uh, from this one. But anyways. You know, Zamasu's all pissed because, you know, he's like, what the fuck? These mortals think that they can just go ahead and challenge a god. And so, um, I forget what the move is called, but it's something like with blades and shit like that, right? Because that's the signature with, with uh, Zamasu and Black and stuff like that. Uh, he's like shooting off this fucking thing, right? Over at Trunks. He's trying to land it on Trunks. And then Vegeta's like, nah, this is my fucking son. This is my kid. And he goes ahead and just stands in front of fucking Trunks, and then he took the blast. And that is that is one of the most uh, noble things I have ever seen Vegeta do, you know? Because knowing Vegeta's past and what he thought about his son before previously uh, in the Android saga, he didn't really care about him. And then eventually, of course, throughout um, growing, uh, seeing his son grow up and seeing how powerful of a warrior he's become, he's grown emotionally attached to him, and he didn't want to see his son get hurt at all and uh by the way before uh we move on ahead i want to say uh one more thing in case you guys somehow missed this uh they have two more sensu beans which uh which is kind of obvious what's going to happen trunks is going to give us into being to vegeta which who's knocked out and is basically almost dead and then goku who is uh having a key blast struggle uh with zamasu uh goku shoots off his kamehameha and zamasu basically shoots off what his basically uh What's the word I'm looking for? Which, which is basically his sphere of destruction. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the move, the name of that move because of the universe or whatever. Yeah, he shoots, he shoots off his version of sphere of destruction. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. They're having a struggle, right? And then uh, Goku manages to push it back, and then the episode just ends. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? This is bullshit, right? And then um, I think oh, uh, just like the sheer shock of what like fucking of what happened in the episode and the intensity of it and how much like yeah like the intensity of the episode and how much I was like into it you know because like I said I had my knuckles all crunched up when I when I let him go after the fucking struggle dude god they fucking hurt but that's that's whatever you don't need to worry about that anyways uh, I don't usually do this and I kind of want to I kind of wanted to change it up a little bit but I waited until the final uh, final, final scenes after the credits um, of the episode. I don't usually do this because I like to be surprised for future episodes that go on. Um, and, you know, I, I kind of just want to wait until the actual episode comes along. And also try to stay away from actual reviews and stuff like that after, of course, I make this video. But that's, that's whatever, right? Um, but the final scenes of the episode shows off what's going to happen in the next episode. Now I'm going to go ahead and say it right here. I'm also going to leave a fucking uh, text uh, on the screen just in case, of, uh, just in case of, if I remember, I'm sorry. Um, just, just in case uh, you don't want to hear this. I'm going to go ahead and say that there are spoilers and if you don't want to hear what's going to happen in the next episode, if you've already seen what's happened in episode 65, go ahead and click off the video. You don't need to, you don't need to stay here any longer than you need to. Um, but before, but, but if you do decide to leave and you don't want any spoilers, uh, drop a like uh, and uh, leave a comment saying uh, what your favorite scene and uh, what your favorite episode actually is. I'm actually kind of curious. What your favorite episode is, Dragon Ball Super, I'm actually kind of curious. I'll, I'll talk more about that later on uh, after we talk about what happened, right? Alright, so it shows the scene, what, a couple of scenes, what's going to happen in episode 65. And the rumors were true, you know? 
the the fan fucking like the fan like fucking I'm, I don't know what word I'm trying to think of, but all the fan theories of what this could of what this can happen with fusion with Goku and Vegeta and yes, if you couldn't already fucking tell through all the fucking probably YouTube videos that you see in your sub boxes yes, and also the title uh, or the thumbnail of my video. <laughs> Sorry for about that. <laughs> Um, yeah. Super Saiyan Blue Vegito is going to be in the final, uh, not the final, I'm sorry, in the next episode for Dragon Ball Super. And I'm pretty excited about it, and I'm, I'm just ready to see the, the, the fusion of just gods, you know? The fusion of Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and Super Saiyan Rose, if you want to get technical with it, uh, Zamasu. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. Next week, be ready for a review on that episode when it comes out. Uh, uh, be sure to subscribe so you, know, you, so you don't miss out on that because it's going to be amazing. But anyways, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the video right now. Um, I feel like I may have uh, taken too much of your time already th thus far with my terrible fucking stuttering as always. But um, anyways, before you actually leave, I want you guys to go in the comments and uh, type what your favorite episode of Dragon Ball Super has been so, uh, so far. Uh, and if you want to go into it even further with it, you can also you can also leave uh, a comment saying what your favorite episode was so far and uh, the Goku Black Future Chunks arc if you want if you want to do that. I don't uh, I don't really mind which one whatever one you want to do. I'm just kind of curious. Um, if you want to know what, uh, what my favorite episode is, I would say probably the fight of. Uh, just like any episode of the fight between uh, Goku and Hit uh, from Universe 6 Tournament Saga. I don't know why, it's just that Hit is my favorite Universe 6 character and seeing uh, the transformation of Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken was awesome and I really like that. But who knows, I'm, that might change after this next episode drops next week. And like I said, go in the description if you want to actually start watching uh, the first few episodes of what there is are in uh, the Future Trunks arc. Uh, for Dragon Ball Super, uh, like I said, I'll leave that in the description so that way you don't miss out on, on anything too much. Uh, because there is the Future Chunk Saga. You don't want to miss it. It's amazing. There's a proper English subtitle, so you're going to get the best experience of it with uh, Japanese voices, of course. Anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Dragon Ball Super uh, Reviews, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to future content like this. Uh, I hope you guys have just a wonderful day in general, and be sure the on, be sure on the lookout on the channel for future uh, Dragon Ball uh, Dragon Ball content, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 content, and Call of Duty content because Modern Warfare Remastered is out right now. It's uh, it, it, it just it just dropped yesterday at the time of this recording. And uh, anyways, yeah, drop a like, subscribe for future content. Have a wonderful day, you guys. I will see you next time.